Hello, welcome up. We're at the hub with Payson and I'm with the French stallion Julian again. Today we're doing a little training ride. Me and Payson riding with Julian following us on the mountain bike. We're going to start up here on Temesco Ridge, drop into this descent, go down towards, uh, this is the Eagle Springs descent, go down towards Tripit Ranch on the East Topanga Fire Road, and then a couple of climbs on our way to the big final descent, which is Paseo Miramar, which is very sketchy at the moment. We're not racing each other because this guy would blow me away. <laughs> might break his collarbone, but. Yeah, might break my collarbone anyway, because <laughs> we had crazy rain up here. So it's pretty hard packed, but there's tons of gravel and like marble style rocks, especially on the final descent. So we're just trying to keep it in one piece today. And it's my favorite gravel loop close to home. Amazing views. So yeah, it should be a good time. And yeah, Julian, he's uh, coming off some good form racing, so he should have no problem keeping up. January superstar. And Payson is just a uh, legendary bike handler. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. We'll get going and we'll chat a bit more on the, on the flat on the way to this descent. Figure out who exactly you are, Payson. <laughs> cool, let's get it. Um, you do the honors, take me down, we'll go to the Ooh. left. All right. Plenty of grip. <laughs> okay, well, survived the first little section. So I was gonna ask you a couple questions up here. Yeah. Before it gets a little gnarlier. Mm -hmm. Since I figured I kind of barely know much about you besides you ride a bike really well, so it's fun to ride together. Yeah, that's true. But uh, what's your history? How did you get into... I know you're a mountain biker and a gravel biker. Yeah. How did you get into that? And have you ever done any road? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I got into cycling thanks to my dad predominantly. I think that's a fairly common story. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I just gravitated towards mountain biking, mostly because that's what he did. Where um, is this? Central Texas. Okay. Uh, countryside outside of Austin. And uh, yeah, I just liked mountain biking more than road cycling. Um, but I knew I wanted to race. And I knew I wanted to race at a high level if I could. Because uh, Lance was in the middle of winning all the tours. Right. And lived just 15 minutes away from where I grew up. So Very cool. he was kind of hometown hero. Um, until and, he wasn't. Sorry? <laughs> Until he wasn't. <laughs> Until he wasn't. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, and then uh, just became a fan of, of the sport of mountain biking, followed the, the U.S. pros. Noticed that at that time, pretty much all of them lived in Durango, Colorado. So decided I wanted to go there. Saw that they had one of the top ranked collegiate cycling programs. So went to college there at Fort Lewis College. And uh, one thing that collegiate cycling does really well is gives you an opportunity to race lots of different disciplines. So I did race road. Um, actually won a team time trial collegiate national championship with them. Yeah, um, that secret. <laughs> yeah. Get in cup. 
won, uh, or didn't win, raced uh, cyclocross for them, even track, believe it or not, a little bit. That's so cool, you've done I it all. Never, never good at track, but <laughs> just helped me be more well-rounded. And then gradually just started gravitating towards the longer mountain bike stuff. It seemed like I was suited to it just physiologically. And then gravel came around and at first I was a little hesitant because I love the, the trail riding that comes with mountain biking. Um, but just fell in love with the, the tactics of gravel. And at this right. point, it's, it's almost a, a, a mix of road and mountain exactly. bike practice, right? Yeah, and it's kind of a spectrum at this point. You've got races like Leadville that are kind of in the middle and everything in between. So I honestly think of it less as mountain bike and gravel at this point and just a bunch of really badass off-road races. What's, uh, you've been the national champion, right, on the mountain bike? Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's for sure it changed my career. Um, I won it in 2017 and 2018. Oh, twice. Yeah. Look and, at me uh, being ignorant. Sorry? Look at me being ignorant. <laughs> well, you don't really touch your achievements all that much, so. Yeah. That's why I'm asking you. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny because I didn't necessarily decide that I wanted to be, you know, a long distance guy, but then I won those two titles and it was kind of like everyone else just pigeonholed me as that. Like, oh, you're the long distance guy now. You had and your greatest acting role in <laughs> marathon. So. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And at the time I, I wasn't really totally sold on that, but over time I realized that it was what I was best at and then just really started falling in love with the adventure stuff. So <laughs> then started mixing in like, you know, a big trip we did in Iceland last year and yeah, White Rim and all so these film. all these different ideas that are a little outside the lines of what's typical and these days I try to mix that stuff with with racing. Yeah, you have films that are very interesting. Definitely nice to break away from just pure racing. 100%. Yeah, I can't race only at this point. Just mentally, it's just... Uh, too, too much of the same to keep it fresh, right? There's so much going on yeah. in the bike world. There's so much to see, for sure. And here we are, seeing one of the best, Paseo, man. Yeah, stoked, man. I love I'm, this loop. I'm excited to try to keep up with you. It's so fun riding with you. It's so motivating. You're one of the most gifted bike handlers I've ever ridden with, so it's just uh, a, very kind a of treat you. to... Uh, get to tag along. Well, like I was saying, we're definitely not trying to go too fast today. The descents are, we were running so nicely before. Yeah. The big couple of days of insane rain and now it's just survival mode, really. Totally, so, so many ruts. We'll get in the first one right here. Yeah. Hikers up. Nope. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so it's really hard pack here, and then all these rocks on top, which are kind of marble sized, make it super hard to find grip on a gravel bike with no suspension, but it's part of the fun. Really. Nope. And suddenly we're in some beast stand, which is a whole different kind of group.
this is funny. <laughs> interesting bit of the road yeah it's like it's graded hard pack and there's the marbles and then there's the beach sand yeah and the rain gully so i love that sand for some reason i don't know why as actually, long as you're in control of it you actually have more fun. grip in that beachy yeah. sand because you dig in and bite a bit yeah and the marble stuff is just a nightmare for me the marble stuff me. is the super sneaky scary stuff for sure yeah it just takes one bigger rock to hit you off course too. Yeah. And suddenly your line is not what you thought it was going to be. Can't really slow down quickly. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I feel bad for this part of the world because had a fire come through here. Hadn't burned for a very long time. Yeah. Burned super hard, killed everything. Yeah. And then we finally got some rain, but it rained so much. In such a short amount of time, just kind of blew everything out. Yeah, those extremes together are tough. Pretty striking right now. But you can see all the green coming through already, so. Yeah, within hey. weeks, right? Or when did this burn? A few months ago? <laughs> yeah, the burn was a few months ago. The rain was, I don't know, three weeks ago, maybe? Yeah. What size uh, Ramblers are you running today? These are 40s. Okay. Um, I have 45s with me, but I've been doing a lot of kind of gravel pavement combo rides. Sure. So I just decided to leave these on. Yeah, I've got the cheat code on the front there with the 50. Dude, <laughs> I love that 50 so much. That's what I rode across Iceland. Oh, nice. Such a good tire. Yeah, it's like a whole inch of suspension in there suddenly. It's crazy. But I've actually got a carbon road wheel on the back. Oh yeah, which is not ideal, but it's almost as wide as the gravel wheel. Yeah. I'm not trying to save grams, I actually cracked the rims. So. What kind of pressure do you run in your 50s? The 50 I have, I'm not exactly sure, it's probably like 28, 27. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I have, right now in the back, it's probably 31. Yeah. It's about as low as I can go on this rim. Yeah. How about you? On uh, these, probably like 32 right now, which is definitely on the low side, but having ridden this before with you, I know there aren't any massive, like, sharp rock impacts. No. And I'd rather have that tiny bit extra footprint for the, yeah. trying to get as much traction as possible on this. More ice skating than rock popping. And off camber. Oh. And then you're constantly hopping over the ruts. Ah, oh, so beautiful down there. Nope. 
make it a little easier on these corners. Nice grip, but you never know if it's gonna be a hiker. was the turn off to Trippet Ranch, which is where a lot of people park and hike from. Yeah, a little bit more traffic in that area. And then these are the climbs. A few classic Santa Monica mountain punchers. Yeah, you know they're gonna be steep, but they don't last forever. Yeah. This one's actually running really nice. They graded this one before the rain. It is green. <laughs> it is one thing about all the heavy rain. I'm glad I have someone here to talk about that because sometimes people think I'm increasing my saturation <coughs> way overboard, but <coughs> the green here is so green, kind of looks fake in a way. Yeah. It's oh, actually, people think you're messing with the color. Yeah, they think I'm pumping the saturation to like 200%. That's funny. But, I might do that a little too much sometimes, but the grass is very green here. Yeah. Oh. Nice. This is a great area to get a perspective of yeah how steep these canyons are and what the tango looks like. <clears throat> Heck of a kit you're wearing. <laughs> it's my Rainbow Warrior special. <laughs> Love it. Figured I should be able to tell us apart if I wear this. <laughs> it's so nice and quiet out here. Yeah. So it's one of the best parts of being in this area and having a gravel bike. Yep. It's so easy to get off the road and kind of we're surrounded, but I feel like we're in the middle of nowhere. 100%. I mean, that way you can't see any houses. Let's <laughs> go ahead, everybody. Oh! 
Oh, it's a big oh. one. <laughs> My bad. It's all right. Gotta keep the skills sharp at all times. Mario Kart. Could have been a bunny. <laughs> always have to be prepared. <laughs> oh, such a nice temperature too. Oh yeah. This is perfect. Good old so-called winter. Not too shabby. I think I'm going on. Yeah, buddy. Five years of this? Me? What? Five years of coming here this time. Oh, of year. you have. You've been coming Pretty here. Pretty sure. For the Santa Monica's longer than I have. <laughs> no way. I've been here, I've lived here for three years, but. Really? Okay. I guess I did a, a couple of rides uh, more than five years ago, but on a track bike uh -huh. in the canyons. <coughs> I remember. Yikes. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was in good shape from Mexico. Yeah. But I remember my first ride somewhere up on the ridge on Mulholland. Uh huh. Totally out of water because I don't have any bosses for cages. I would just carry two bottles in my jersey pocket. Yeah. I had to end up knocking on someone's door and begging for water. Because <laughs> I just didn't think about it. Where I was living in Mexico City, you could be anywhere yeah. in the mountains and there'll be someone selling tacos <coughs> yep. and a bottle of Coke, yeah. water. And then, do you miss it there ever? I ain't like it out in Malibu, there's nothing. Yeah. I um, might miss it. So definitely a more communal vibe in Mexico. Yeah. Friendly people and great riding. Definitely don't miss the breathing problems I was having. Yeah. From pollution and 15 years of working in downtowns. Yeah. <clears throat> But you really can't beat Santa Monica for local trails. Totally. Oh, look at that canyon. So there are some new rain gullies here. I don't really know. A little bit sketchy. Yeah, I'll take the fall. I notice when filming these kind of roads on the gravel bike, uh huh. Kind of looks like we're going slow. Yeah. But you don't realize like how on the edge of grip we are. For sure. <laughs> it looks way easier than it is. Yeah, and I always, I always say that riding this stuff on a gravel bike is kind of a more binary experience. You're either in control or the traction goes 
and you're going down. Yeah. <laughs> On a mountain bike, you, you can, there's a little bit of in between where you can start sliding more and still be in control. Yeah, it's a scary feeling, but it's also kind of what we enjoy, I guess. Yeah. It's good for mountain biking too. It really sharpens you up, I feel. A lot of when you, skills carry over. When you jump back on the mountain bike, you just feel like you can <laughs> yeah. ride over anything. You just monster truck it. Yeah. You gotta yeah, really I, finesse it with these bikes. Uh huh. I got on my 120 bike yesterday for the first time in a while and was like, <laughs> man, I'm unbeatable. Everything got easy. Unstoppable. <laughs> Not that we're saying your job is easy, Julian. <laughs> but it kind of is. Just so, kidding. It's different when you put the camera on your head. Yeah. I've only ridden with one of those gimbals on my helmet <laughs> once, and that was enough. <laughs> well, the thing is, you're trying to stay like a bike length back. Yeah. At all times, which on the road is you can train up. On dirt, it's like. Never going to be easy. Yeah. Because you just can't see the things coming. Yeah. Ah, so. Start to get some nice views once we clear this climb. This loop always goes by so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not doing a loop today, but this hub to Paseo. Mm -hmm. Very engaging. View is always changing, action packed, and with the sense you're on your toes. I like doing these same routes that I've been doing for years because I remember when I first started riding gravel, this climb was a killer for me. Mm. And now it's just like, oh well, it's part of the loop. Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> do you do a, a lot of variety in Durango? Yeah. I think that's one of the secrets to why it's so popular amongst pros especially. It's one of the most geologically diverse places in the country, so we have probably I don't know, depending on how you define it, six or eight trail systems within city limits. And every single one is totally different geology oh. substrate. So all right. one of them is like big granite boulders, one's kind of red rock, clay dirt, one's sandstone, one's shale. I'm in crazy. I'm inviting myself over. Yeah, man, do it. Watch out for this off camber left. Open invitation. This is a very weird corner. Yep. Looks like after that crazy wind we had the last few days, a lot of the sand's blown off. Mm. That corner used to be way sketchier. Now it's just a hard pack. Yeah. down there. Thanks guys. <laughs> Thank you.
like to carry some speed into this last climb. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty sharp. But then we get the... Oh yeah, I forgot we have one more. Yeah, this one always... The last thorn. In your Momentum side. is your friend. Oh. Especially in Santa Monica. The surface is what the descent looks like, so. Yeah. Real dicey. Bit of foreboding here. Okay, so not as clear as the other day, but got views of Santa Monica, Venice Beach, Venice, Santa Monica Beach, Topanga Beach. Ooh. Hell yeah. A little dirty today though. Alright, so I remember there's two left-handers that are like, yeah, they don't look bad going in, but you gotta drop to like 10 miles an hour. Time to do a little tiptoeing. <laughs> Thankful to have your back wheel. Hopefully. Yeah, name of the game is survival, not going down. Yeah. Hikers up. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. So this is the first corner I was telling Payson about. No grip, off camber, shitty exit. Oh, front wheel started to go. Hey buddy, on your left. Hey. Oh, the worst grip levels. It looks like we're going hella slow, but this is just insane how loose it is. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Right. Hmm. Whoa, hello. gullies all over the place. Hey, let's take the single track. Don't know what it's like, but it should be fun. Woo. Love riding this stuff with pacing. <laughs> He's so fast on this kind of technical gravel. Boy. Oh, this guy's going the wrong direction. Yeah, buddy. Get it. Hello. So, this is the other very sketchy left. 
a little better today. All the gravel's blown off. That's nice. down here today. Somewhere in here there's a little drop off that you can get back to the road. Love these little alternative lines. I gotta figure out where it is and what it looks like after the rain. Alternative alternative here we go. cycling. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it didn't sound good. <laughs> Gave me a heart attack. Hey, it's three of us, thank you. Yeah, there's no other gravel bikers I take down those. Oh, clip the post. Well, we all survived. <laughs> now we just gotta watch for oncoming cars. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but one of my feet came out and it was oh, exciting. What? <laughs> That's not what you want to happen. A little bit of bucking bronco. <laughs> well, we take this. This is Paseo Miramar, all the way down to Sunset Boulevard at Sunset Beach. This is a real twisty, fun one. There. Real steep. It's a tricky line to get right. It took me many times going down there to really nail that corner. on the blind ones. <laughs> I love that the cars try to race you down like they're gonna stay ahead. Nice work, brother. <laughs> I love how if a car is stuck behind you, they freak out. But if you're behind a car, they're they like, just try to keep you behind them. Dude, the Jeep was driving like a maniac. Stand is so funny. He was literally just like full body rocking. I like this let us go. It's not a big deal. Like you obviously slower on a twisty descent. Anyway, a few days ago I got 
stuck behind a Tesla going down Decker. Or not Decker, uh, Deer Creek. Let's go up here. Right? Yeah. Ooh. The final <laughs> piece of single track. The Safa lines. <laughs> I was like, right? There's, that's a <laughs> lawn. What are we doing? <laughs> always, always surprises. Anyway, got stuck behind uh, Tesla going down Deer Creek and uh, <clears throat> they just started driving like they're Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to see you go off the side of this. Just like, you're fine. We, we can just go down this at take this lane. 37 instead of 42, I don't care. Just yeah. don't kill yourself, please. I feel like it's a weird ego thing. Like, yeah, a bike can't be faster than me. Yeah. I'm, like, yeah, I'm in a Tesla. I'm yeah. basically in a rocket. Elon Musk made this. <laughs> so yeah, this is the end of our ride. Back into... Dude, made it. Yeah, well, Another day bad. surviving uh, riding with Safa. Wow. Well, I'll just cruise in here. I'll show you what I was telling you earlier where I finished my Paseo Insane Descents and then nice. chill out here for a second and phone a friend. Phone a friend, yeah. <laughs> this is a good excuse to stay in touch with people if you like make a specific spot where you sit down and you're like, oh yeah, I'll call one of my friends today. Yeah, cool man. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll talk to you in person though. And there's often some, there's a break right here, so there's often some surfers. Nice. To watch. Look, oh, there's a bunch of guys out today. Yeah. My bird poop rock hangout. <laughs> Shit. Hopefully nobody comes and harasses me when I'm trying to chill out here. Yeah, how often oh, does that, that happen? Beautiful waves today. I'm not familiar with this wave. One knee down. Whoa. That was fun. That was. Always better with a bit of company. Julian. Thanks, man. You were, uh, I look back and you're always like right there. Super one, impressive. One inch behind, so. Super impressive. I think I was most impressed when I went around that Jeep and somehow you like never got six inches off my wheel. Oh, okay. He was glued. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No kidding. Is, is no kidding. Those Sweet, man. Oh, well, yeah. I'll turn this, take this off your head, let you actually enjoy life. <laughs> All right. Awesome, Julian. Thanks, man. Yeah. You the man, thank you. Uh, I forgot how heavy that is. Yeah, you gotta yeah. take it off. <laughs> they suck to ride with, huh?